F2 results, by the way. Antonelli on the podium. We love that. Felicity was on the podium in Formula 3. I've never cared about Formula 3 ever in F1 Manager. That, now I care all about it. She's here, chat. She is the real deal, is our Felicity. We are going to follow her career with intrigue. I don't think she has, Does she have a super license? I don't think she has a super license. Don't think I can give her a contract. Bloody hell. I'm in love. I, mean, I can't be in love with a 20-year-old cat. That's a bit weird. I'm 30 now. Can't say, can't say that anymore. And then, was it Antonelli in F2? Antonelli, second, made up 19 places. Isabel made up tw eight, 12 places to get eighth. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Our junior drivers are here to play, aren't they? I'm going to go out now. I'm going to hope we get a little bit lucky with the traffic because traffic's pretty RNG. I'm going to hope we can just go out, do one lap, not get blocked, and then chill for the rest of the session. I think we'll have Carlos signs to deal with. Besides that, we might be okay with traffic here. I think we found a gap. I think there's a pretty good gap here, actually. It's just signs. There's an Aston coming out the pit, but that is coming out way... I don't, that's not going to affect Albon. I don't think it's going to affect Award either. We're good. We found a gap. Albon's just gone purple. Albon has gone purple over George Russell and Hamilton. I'm not going to get carried away yet. 25, 23-5, 23-7. Albon's cooking. Albon is cooking. I wasn't paying attention. Did we get past signs okay? Did we even catch signs? We didn't even catch signs. We're golden. We might catch him on the hairpin. This could be disastrous. I pray he gets out the way. I pray he gets... I hate him. I hate him. He's absolutely mudded Albon there. Albon's our set to as a 40.2. Awards is a 40.1. They got the exact same time. Maybe it wasn't that bad. Because it was the hairpin anyway. And we would have got a toe out the last corner. Award and they've just set the exact same time. Oh wait, no, that's the interval between each other. Never mind. That's I tell you what, that's a coinky dink there, isn't it? We appear to be good in quality. Never mind, Yuki Tsunoda's a f demon, isn't he? That Yuki Tsunoda bloke, very good. Right, we should be good. There might be a bit of traffic at the end of the lap. Maybe I don't like this. But I can't, you know what? Ricky says track position good. I trust Ricky. Ricky would never lie to me. Right, Albon not faster through the first sector. Pato Wars. Don't think there's going to be any traffic issues here, which is good. If there is, it's going to be right on the corner, and I'm going to hate it. Albon's not improving. I'm looking at the cars behind us, and how many of these are not going to go past Albon? There's a yellow flag somewhere. I think Perez locked up on the final corner, maybe? Yeah, he did. Okay, Perez won't go quicker. That's big. So that's one driver who's going to stay slower than Albon. We're going to be right in the bubble here. Maybe Australia was a false dawn. Albon crosses the line. Doesn't improve. Award, can he improve? He needs to. Faster than Stroll. Stroll's on an in-lap. Press on an in-lap. Sides on an in-lap. There's, there's a chance. Danny Rick's on a push-lap. Alonso here could demote us. He does. Okay, looking at Danny Rick here. He is the main threat. He was faster in sector one, but not sector two. Needs to make up six tenths to stand a chance. Hold on, Pato. Hold on. Okay. Uh, is Ocon on a push lap here? He is so sergeant. I can't see them getting past us. Can you guys? They have both gone quicker. Surely not. Their cars are just slower. I think. I hope. Surely not. Surely not. That is closer than I want to admit. Ocon, don't hurt me. I know the Haas is quick. Yeah, the Haas is slow. We survive. Sergeant, by the way, putting in a decent lap time. I think that makes me think the RB car is just quick. 
I've, if we got demoted there by Sergeant, imagine the memes. All right, both drivers will get a run at the end here on fresh uh, softs. This is just about trying to get a half decent lap in. There is a wild Lando Norris who could be a problem for traffic. Hamilton's going to hit him first. Let's see if, Al if Hamilton gets mudded on his lap by this uh, M McLaren. Okay, gets out of the way well. Should get out of the way for us as well here. This might be really good. You know what? That's good. That was the one bit of traffic for the lap. Both our drivers navigated it. 23.6 for Albon. 23.5 for Award. Award faster through the first sector. What is he going to be able to do here? As we cross the line, the answer is a... I tell you what, that is not good. Albon had a... Lover of sloths, uh, lover of softs, sorry, lover of sloths, words are hard, there's gravel on the track, for, <laughs> said that seven minutes ago, then sloth boy subs seven minutes later, slowly but surely making my way through all the VODs, currently in Singapore, respect sloth boy, thank you very much for some with the prime mate, that's good, that's a really good pass, that's an okay pass there. Just a McLaren to get by now. <laughs> Pato has locked up. It's a disaster. Did Albon have to lift? Oh, Pato. It was going so well. I mean, Alex is now going to have to lift, isn't he? Oh, it's a disaster. Albon might have just been murdered by Pato. I mean, to be fair, Albon is not improving. It's not looking good for Albon believers. Is it what about to out-qualify Albon again? I mean, is this as controversial as when Perez crashed at Monaco to get P1? That's all I'm going to say. I think Albon... Pato just wants to get a purple sector free, doesn't he? That's all that Pato's about. I mean... Yeah, not good for Albon. I don't think Albon actually lost that much time through Sector 2. But, hmm. He improved in the last Sector, and it did improve his overall time, but not enough. Award currently holding on, but Alonso's about to cross the line here. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Norris is stuck behind us on a push lap. So Norris is mudded there. Piastri's up to third. Is it just Norris on a push lap here? Oh, apparently Yuki as well. I mean, surely Yuki's not going to be improving. Nah, he's not. Oh, chat, it's done for us, I'm afraid to say. That is us. Seventh and tenth, though. Unless Verstappen can do something on a flying lap here. I mean, Verstappen not having fun. He's on a push lap here. He went yellow for the first set. So he must have been blocked. It's not looking good for Max. Well, I mean, we can pay out on the prediction, can't we? Pato is out qualifying Albon there. That is a big R.I. Pepperino to the people who betted on Pato. Oh, sorry, better on Albon. Verstappen goes up to third. Eight for ninth for the race. You know what? That's okay. That is okay. Pato locked up when it mattered for Albon. To be fair, Albon was going slower anyway. Albon's lap time there was stinky. Can't remember. Awards lap time is set on the used tyres as well. Okay, we have two fresh sets of softs. Chat, why am I only getting given one strategy? I kind of like the strategy, though. I kind of like it. Am I overcooking to go for that? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking medium soft, soft for album. Okay, are we ready, gang? Are, are we ready to go motor racing? I think we bloody are. Let's do it. We're off to China. Last year was a sprint race. Today, it's a one and done it dance. Well, Woo! That was bloody exciting, weren't it? Ferrari lockout at the front, by the way. The LH era is good. As Pierre still in his Alpine. Poor bloke. 19th. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him.
Let's do this, folks. Buckle up tight. Get comfy. It's lights out. Oh, my God. That camera happened, thing happened before. Our body's starting behind O'Ward. Don't lock up and go into each other. That's all I really ask. I think O'Ward got first wa forced wide on this first corner last season. If memory serves me correct. I did say pre-race it might be a bit of a cold weekend where tyre temps are hard to get. Which makes me a little scared about running on the hards. Chat, do I need to tell them not to fight? Do I need do I need to tell them not to fight? I think we're okay. I mean Albon's on mediums, right? Russell is behind on mediums. Sergeant's on hards. Tell you what, if Albon and Co. can hold up these soft runners behind, including Perez, that would be mega for a Ward's race. Might be a challenge. We'll see how it happens. I'm going to tell Albon not to fight his teammate. Albon, our strategy involves going long on these mediums. Just be sensible, son. Look how pretty our new car looks, by the way, from the sky. Look how beautiful our car looks. Isn't it a pretty car? I love the rear. The rear wing's my favourite bit. Oh, I feel immersed. The black rear wing, but with yellow from the sides. Russell, by the way, is way behind on Albon early on here. He is struggling on his tyres. Oh, God, it could be carnage in the hairpin. Right, time to chill. Time to chill. I'm going to push Albon just a little bit here to try and keep him in DRS range if we can on Pato. Although Pato's now losing DRS as well. It's a disaster. And we, still need more lift and coast. we don't need more lift and coast. We need our drivers in DRS range. Push! I'm calm. The, the key to being an F1 pr uh, president president not a team principal everyone an f1 president is to be able to remain calm and i'm very very good at that of course the guys in front of us uh, really rb is the only car i think we can be as fast as the other teams are just too good but good news here at least for now albon is still maybe in drs range maybe he isn't i don't think he is i think i've mugged him off there the mediums to the softs, the difference is just too big. But that's fine. Oh, Russell's going to get us. Mm, I mean, he is on mediums as well. I guess it's not that bad. I mean, it's the race that we were facing last race, isn't it? With a ward in Australia. It's fine. Albon, don't cry about it. It's fine. I did see the Johnny Evans Penenka. I can confirm. Was it ninth for Albon chat for the prediction uh, for the sponsor payout? I'm just wondering if I'd let Award let Albon pass if this situation happened again. I'm tempted to really push Award here because I think with him ahead of Albon, we could benefit and maybe go soft, medium, hard, which was the original like strategy with Award anyway. That might be a better play than trying to go soft, hard, soft for a ward and there being a bit of margin. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to try, I think, and keep them like this. Albon is set to not fight. Well, chill. This is fine. I mean, based on the pace the McLaren, Red Bull and Ferrari have, I think seventh is the best we can hope for unless there's DNFs. The fact that he could run a one-stopper that no one else tried, I think, is kind of testament to how good Albon can be for us. Did I finish with the speech with? I'm out. I didn't. I didn't use my YouTube intro or outro. Yellow flag. Ghastly. Damage? Hmm. I mean, he, he, he's not meant to be there, is he? Oh, is it? Is it Alpine on Alpine? Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> the fact they've both come to a stop at the same time is just very funny. Uh, yeah, not not great for them. I'll be honest, the Alpines, not not their best day. Magnussen, of course it was bloody Kevin. Magnussen's not got damage. Their tyre wear is mudded. As if that wasn't a safety car, by the way. Cars get out of the gravel too much in this game, don't they? Oh, Kevin got the penalty chat. 
Can we get some Fs in the chat? Kevin. Have you ever heard these voice lines before? Yeah, what? I've never heard a driver complain about our like team instructions. I've never heard that. That's that's. I mean, it's, I love it. Don't get me wrong. That's mad. I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, there's a world here where both my drivers get past Alonso in a two for one. Are you ready to see a, a collateral chat? This is the equivalent of an F1 manager collateral. Are you ready? Watch this and enjoy this. Okay, Albon's way further back than I realised. Never, mi never mind. Take it back. Just show me what you got. I'm not sure about the Albon sass there, by the way. That seemed out of order. Pato? Pato? He's cooking. He's chilling. We're good. Where's the DRS detection line for the start-finish? I'm actually not sure. I don't think Pato has the DRS. No, he doesn't. Oh, great defending. Pato or what? Oh, okay, never mind. All that Pato and he still got past you. I forgot I left everything turned up still on Albon there. Albon, just chill, mate. Just chill. Nurse the car. We're not losing time right now. Alonso and Sonoda are the two guys we're racing against strategy-wise. And we're in DRS range on them with Albon. It was in a way better position when it comes to tyres and stuff. This is really, really good for Albon's race. Oh, we're through. We're through on the softs. I mean, to be fair, I Ward should have done that a lot sooner. Oh, that's Perez on softs too. You know what? I don't mind losing a position to Perez there. That's actually fine. Don't panic, Albon. Don't panic. He's on softs. He's cooking his tyres while we chill. A ward could redo with catching Yuki here. Is Yuki on softs? No, Yuki's on mediums. A ward's not in the best spot here, if I'm being completely honest, but I'm sure it'll come back to him. It's going to be fine. I mean, is there an argument now to pit Pato earlier for the hards? And then with the mediums we do later, we can push them harder. Mm, it reckons it'll be about a second slower than what I already have booked in. I think I go for that. I think we just try and pit early off these softs. Have we managed to build much of a gap here? The pack's a bit spread out. Uh, what's the pit stop time here? 25 seconds. So for world pitting now, we're we really looking for that gap around Joe and Hulkenberg. Okay, a ward got overtaken there, but we're not going to panic. Perez up the inside on a ward is not good. Carbine Albon. Carbine Albon, that's us! Also, why is a ward battling wheel to wheel? He, he hasn't got DRS. Oh, wait, no, he has got DRS. It's fine. Mick, what can make you give Mick a second chance next season? Nothing. If I die and Wok inherits the channel, that might be your only chance. And I hope I don't die. And if you want Wok to stream, God help you all. I hope she's not here now. She's probably thinking about murdering me. She's like, this is my time to get in the spotlight. As long as we're staying in DRS range on all of these, we're fine. Let's see. Even Albon says fine, whilst it sounds like suffocating in a sleeping bag or something. I think I push hard on the fuel with our ward here just to try and stay in DRS range. It's looking like a bit of a tall order, though. These guys in front of our water are quick. And we've we've eaten the softs quicker than I wanted. I'll be honest. Double points is going to be tough. I'm going to tell him to let Albon pass this next DRS zone. Hopefully he moves over well here. Albon should get a really good slingshot. Sorry, Pato. You did what you needed to do, son. That was That's your team battle done. Albon needs to try and get back in range on these guys. Yellow flag. Yellow flag Hamilton? No, it's not those guys. Who had an air issue? I saw movement at the top. Oh. Let's see what there. At what point do we start feeling bad for him? He's already in last. 
By that point, <sighs> I feel bad for late. Kevin. I feel bad. I feel so bad for Kevin. So I think, yeah, when we pit here, we're going to come out between Hulkenberg and Ockham. That's actually a really good gap to come out into for a ward on his hard tyres. Right, Pato, we're looking for a two-point free chat. We know it's possible. That's good. That's very... You know what? We'll take that. We will take that. Are we going to come out in the Hulkenberg gap? Oh, we are. Chat, I've planned it to perfection. We pushed early, and it was a gamble. I'll admit it. It was a gamble to push early, but I saw a gap that we could get into if we pushed that would keep Albon in his fight, and it, it's worked dividends. I look smart for once. I know it's a rarity. Let me let me have my moment, chat. No DRS for Albon is kind of pain, but I haven't really got much more to push. Have you noticed how Albon actually defends, chat? It's confusing me. I've got so used to my drivers not actually defending, but to see Albon actually defending stuff, like, I'm confusion. I am confusion, to be completely honest. Okay, yeah, Fernando does have DRS. This is not ideal. I'm using up the tar advantage I have right now. Whilst not getting in DRS range to go on to save it. But I've not got any battery either. We're not used to... Def uh, we're used to you not defending Mick. Look, Mick does not deserve any defending. I'm sorry. There's a no one else picked up Mick Schumacher. I think that's an indicator of his skill. We got DRS here. I think we dropped Alonso. Is Alonso in DRS range here? Is the flap going to open? Probably. It didn't. It did It did not. Verstappen pits early. Oh, my God. What's going on here? What's, what's crack-a-lacking, lads? What tyre's Max going on to? Soft, medium. I think he's going soft, medium, hard. He's going to come out of some nasty traffic. I'll be fuming if I was Max. All right, got DRS on Sonoda. Pushed our tyres to get it. Now it's time to top up and save them. I mean, Sonoda's not going to have DRS here. Alonso hasn't got DRS on us either. Now, Ward is just chilling in his little gap here. It's really nice for him, actually. I think we can go and top up with him as well. Charge the pack. Copy. Did we really just squeeze Sonoda out there? I feel like we absolutely muddered him. Yes, boys. Yes, boys. Albon's very excited. He's a very excitable young chap. I mean, Albon is chilling. Perez is going to have to pit here soon. My ward's just in clean air. I, I think this is fine. Okay, Alonso pits off his mediums. Aston Martin have been nowhere this weekend, have they? Medium hard for Alonso, and they've had an error. Good. Good. Are we going to come out behind Alonso here on hearts? Oh, oh, we're fine. We're f no brown. No, br we're good. Christ on a bendy bus. That was... That was fine. Everything's fine. So Albon and Yuki are both just extending these medium stints long. I wonder if, uh, if Yuki's going to go for soft softs as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. What, what a disaster. How slow was it? My heart bleeds. That wasn't that delayed, was it? I was like... Oops. Calm down. Someone get my Snickers. Someone get my Snickers. Does Albon have a front slash chance this year? We've not actually heard that line yet, have we? We've not actually heard that voice line yet. Oh, God, awards fighting with Alonso. This could be a recipe for disaster. I mean, I don't really mind if he's ahead, as long as we can just stay in DRS range. That'd kind of be okay. I want to try top up him. I feel like top up is a recipe for Alonso just to pull away during the first kind of sector. Yeah, I've got to go. I've got to go neutral here. 
I mean, if we can get a toe from Alonso, that wouldn't be that bad. McClure on fresh softs next. Everyone's getting past us, chat. Everyone is getting past us. It's fine, though. We've not pitted yet. Okay, we are dreaming here of coming ahead of Sonoda. I think we're going to come out behind him. But that's far from the end of the world. Looking for 2.3s from the Ultras there. Give it to us. Let's go! That's what we need! Yuki's going to clear us just, but we're on hard soft and he's on hards. A 2.2 from them. Give them a raise. Give them a bloody raise. Monumental. All right, we are racing Sonoda in front. He's a little bit further ahead than I wanted him to be. Somewhat important, actually, for us here that we drop uh, Fernando behind. But, I mean, the hards versus the soft. We're doing two stints on the softs. We're going to be good. They're not getting Christmas off. Someone said let them have Christmas off. They're not getting carried away here. If you're in our pit crew, you do not get to enjoy Christmas. I'm sorry. I don't make up the rules. That's just what they are. Oh, Stroll's going to get past us here. But it's kind of fine. As long as we don't lose time. We're running in 9th and 11th. Sponsor objective, I think, was 9th and 11th as well. Okay, Albon, by the way, has managed to drop Alonso massively. I probably should have eased up on his pushing sooner. But we got temps in the tyres. As I say all that, he looks good. Stroll overtakes. <laughs> oh, Ward. Mm. I mean, at least they didn't hit each other in that corner. You know, we saw Alpine crash there earlier. I'm going to look for the positives. Okay, we've got past Yuki. Life's good. Our world's got past Stroll. Life's even better. Oh, oh my god, the auto director actually did a good switch. Where's Mick? Uh, he's gone. He's in a better place. I really need us to drop Yuki here before DRS becomes a factor, and I don't know if we're going to. Because I'm full sending stuff here, and I just don't have enough charge to deploy battery to make the gap happen. You know what? Rather than pushing needlessly, let's just go in top up. I don't mind scrapping with Yuki here. Yep, copy. Because I think we can clear him fairly quickly when we need to. Mick was too good for F1. Fake news. Sonoda got us. Can we now get him back? Uh, this corner is a scary corner. Mm, mm, we'll have the inside if we can hold it. It's a bit stressful, isn't it? Oh, he's gone wide. He's gone wide. What an overtake. The helicam catching it in all its glory. Stroll got back ahead of O'Ward. You know what? Just ignore the fact that O'Ward got mudded again. Just pretend this battle isn't happening. I mean, Stroll's on medium. Stroll should be getting past him easy peasy. Whoever this bat marker is, if you want to block Yuki Sonoda, I'll invite you to my birthday party. Is it Kevin? I think it's Kevin. Starting to see signs of some overheating. Right, block him. Block him. Okay. Yes, this is good. Block him more. No, you meant to... It's a disaster. Award, by the way, still just doing his thing. Award's having a very chilled out race right now. He's loving life in 12th. Oh, Yuki. He's just... Yuki, why is Yuki so quick, Jack? Can someone tell me, like, is there a stat that he has that my drivers just don't have? I, is Sonoda really pushing his hards, Jack? Because I feel like our wear to his wear hasn't been that different. I can't do anything about it. I literally can't get rid of this bloke, and it's really annoying me. Ricardo's caught up to a ward, by the way. 
But Ricardo's on mediums. What's the lap time difference? Oh, second. But presumably, he's going to be on hards at some point. Because he's gone soft medium. So we should be able to come back to him when we switch to hards. It's a patient race for award. Okay, Pato, mega stint there, by the way, chap. Like, absolutely mega. Perez, by the way, is behind Albon on fresh tyres. He's going to pass Albon very quickly. So don't worry about that one there. Main figures, we've got a 4.5 second gap to Sonoda. Can we have another quick stop? Mm, not a 2.2, but you know what? That's good. Clean stops is the order of the day. I was hoping we might clear Bottas and Signs, which we haven't done. I can't push these mediums too hard and the fuel's a bit me close, but we should be okay. Bottas is probably going to pit. Signs on these hards should be quite easy to pass. Meanwhile, Albon is going to get eaten up by Perez sooner rather than later. It's weird, right? This year, we've not got closer to Red Bull, McLaren or Ferrari, I don't think, or at least not yet. But we should be able to bring more upgrades through the year. I actually feel like I won't be upgrading the car that much again this year. It'll be similar to last year, purely because we need to upgrade stuff like the factory and design center and all those buildings, which cost quite a lot to upgrade. Like, they're all at the lowest level they can be right now. They are going to be the... Well, the focus, I think, longer... Well, longer term through this year is basically improving the infrastructure. There's a yellow flag. Who's had a moment? It's not one of our drivers. It's a long yellow flag. Is it Kevin again? No, it's Logan Sargent, who's ahead of O'Ward, by the way. He was... I feel like he was a bit ahead. Yeah, he was. You can't even see O'Ward. Ah. Yeah, can't do that. That is suboptimal. Okay, Russell Pitts. If Russell's going on hards, chat, I'm going to say it. Albon gets him before the end. I think Russell's gone medium, medium. So I feel like he must have a set of softs left. But it's a long stint on softs. They're putting him on hards. I think I'm, I'm calling it now. Albon gets him at the end. I'm going to call it. Albon's in clean air. Award is going to catch Sergeant sooner or later. Sergeant due to pit very soon, I imagine. Okay, big pit stop for Albon here. We're racing Yuki to the end. His softs are going to be 8% more worn as we come in here. I think we're going to be next to Yuki. That's my guess. I think we're going to come up pretty much alongside Yuki Sonoda. Need a good stop. It's going to be close. My world's got Sergeant, by the way, in the DRS zone. 2.5. Not rapid, but not awful. My ward doesn't have DRS. Sergeant has it on him, but it's not close. Chat, we're chilling. We are chilling. Sonoda's just done the fastest lap of the race. And he's behind us. Lance Stroll has come out ahead, but Lance Stroll is on all mediums. We need to clear Lance. Battery situation's good. I think the patch coming this week is going to be interesting for F1 manager where they nerf mentality buffs. I'm surprised it, the game shipped to the mentality as it did. I kind of flagged it, I think, in one of the first pre-release streams we did chat. That I thought it was crazy. The buffs you got off it, but... And that will be interesting to see how that plays a role. Okay. We should go flying past the Aston here. Okay, we are good. Now, Stroll, if you could hold up Yuki for a bit, that would be ideal. If we can give Stroll DRS here and then just pull away through the next sector, that would be ideal. Don't think he has DRS. I think Yuki's just going to pass him easy. No, it's a shame. It's a shame. Oh, it's a back marker. Who is it? It's not Ocon. Who's the other driver for Haas? I can't remember. Oh, it's bloody Joe. His home race. Get blocked. Get blocked. Mm, you know what? That's okay. 
Yuki's wear is 10% worse than ours. Oh, Ricardo's had a pit stop error. Play the world's smallest violin. I mean, we're in 12th. Stroll's going to pit still, so 11th's probably on for a ward. I really want to deploy through here. I need to try and drop Yuki. Yes. I don't want him to get in DRS range because we saw what he can do before. He's pushing his tyres way harder than us, by the way, to try and catch up. Keep pushing. Try and keep the gap here. Hamilton on the one-stopper chat. Is it going to work? It might work. It's going to be close at the end, I think. I think he might have it if he can make them last. Okay, there is a very, very small chance that a ward can hold on to this. I mean, we are still going to be hunted in a softs versus medium battle, but that is quite good. Yeah, the mentality is good. They just need to reduce the buffs. I also just don't think it should show the buffs as a number on the driver screen. Like, in a weird way, with the mentality stuff, if they never shown the buffs and it was just like a silent bonus that you get, it probably would have been something that people never would have known or complained about. Like in Football Manager, for example, driver morale like has an effect... Uh, driver morale. Footballer morale has an impact on performance. But the performance it has, like, okay, so the it can't really be quantified, like, because it isn't shown anywhere. Okay, we should have DRS here, right? That's a pretty good spot to get DRS, I think. Should going to make up 10 seconds in 11, in 12 laps? Do I think there should be more depth to the staff selection? I feel like a bit, big part of F1 is the engineering team, but there's like three positions you could hire in-game. It's tricky, right? Because I'll be honest, I think the staff management side of the game isn't actually that interesting anyway. Like, it's not exactly the fun part of the game. I feel like one of the ways this game really excels is in its, the race, the races themselves. I feel like with Football Manager, the difference is you have so many more, dr like, dr I say drivers here, I'm referring to the players as drivers. There's just a lot more variance in all the decision making and stuff and the people you need to manage. And when you have a sport that is based around 10 teams, 11 if you create a team, and then two drivers and then the team around them, like, I feel like that depth's always going to be more difficult to add. Like, you kind of already see the issue with, like, the roles they have in the game right now where beyond the current depth in F1 it's kind of hard to have real staff members for all the other roles and it's like at what point does having all those extra staff go from being better game design to being a chore to do that just isn't very fun like I think you could add a lot more variance to stuff like car development without adding more staff members and that would be a better way to do it like have it when you're developing parts that you can maybe try and design illegal parts and get caught for them that was one thing that was fun to do in the promotional manager i don't know if they'd ever be able to do that in a licensed game probably not um stuff like have upgrades that potentially aren't as good like when you're designing a part maybe there is a a chance it will actually be a downgrade and you won't know until you attach it for a weekend if it's going to be an upgrade or not have it so when you're doing designs, they can potentially just fail or they need they have an, a long delay. I feel like the staff side of it, expanding the staff wouldn't make the designing the game play better, if that makes sense. I think there's better ways to improve the gameplay and add more variance with the car development side of stuff. Now we've caught up to Russell here. The challenge is going to be dropping Russell and then keeping him behind. I kind of need to drop him here. If we can, then get him out of DRS range um, before we get to the next DRS range zone. That would be the ideal kind of situation. I'm going to have to push hard and hope we build the gap. Oh, can we drop him? I feel like if we drop him, we're going to be fine to hold on for the position, but I have to get a second ahead now. And I'm a little bit concerned if I stand to play any longer, I'm not going to charge out the final corner. So I've got to chill. Also, my tire wear's already a bit... Uh, not perfect. I can't get rid of Russell. I can't get rid of Russell. I'm better off nursing my softs, trying to save some charge, and then going for him at the end rather than pushing ahead now. 
Yeah, I feel like driver injuries would be an interesting thing to have. I, I wonder if there's some issues around licensing with that. I know modders have, like, poked around the database files before and found, like, hints of a medical center as, like, a building. But I imagine there's some licensing issues there. And also, it's just, like, how do you... How would that work? I feel like it's one of those things which they'll add to the game eventually. But the game's maybe not at a state where that needs to be a priority right now. Do we have, still have DRS here, right? Right? We don't have DRS. That's really bad. I think Russell has too much life. Where are we at? I mean, Albon's in eighth, doing fine. Oh, Ward just can't catch Alonso, sadly. Although Alonso's softs aren't going to go off at the end. I just don't think they're going to go off enough. Ferrari are going to get a 1-2, aren't they? Lewis Hamilton's made a one-stopper work in China. That is absolutely absurd. 1.2? Is there a chance? I think he's going to get DRS off the car in front. I mean, we'll have a go. Why not? Can you use K1? Okay. Go, Albon, go! I to put pressure on him. Oh, there's just no chances, the chat. There's just no chance. I can't push the fuel anymore. Is it still Ocon in front? Yeah, it's still Ocon. Maybe Ocon could absolutely block him still. Please, Ocon, do it for me. Don't get out of the way properly, Esteban. I'm going to push the fuel YOLO. Please! You know what? It's a, it's a good attempt. We ran out of fuel on the line there, I think. That was a bit scary. Did we run out of fuel? Oh, no, no. We're good. I mean, PA! I should be happy with that, but we were so close. We were so close. We have actually got Stroll behind us there. I've not noticed that. <laughs> How long's he been there, chat? I was just daydreaming. I mean, we should stay ahead. Don't do it. It's not like this game. I forgot Lance Stroll was hunting us down. He's not got us. That's a mega drive. You know what? 8th and 11th, we take that. So close to Russell at the end. Half a second. Oh. Kevin lapped twice. Not good. Not, not good if you're a Kevin Magnussen fan, I'm afraid to say. There will be lots to talk about after that Cut. race, including the performance from the driver currently on big, our big fun. Love that from you, Pato. Viva la Mexico, etc. Albon up two, Pato down three. I feel like this is just where we are, isn't it, right now? But this is okay. We look comfortably ahead of RB. George Russell is our main nemesis. But look at that. Look at, look at that. Albon seventh. Albon is best of the rest. Award hasn't scored points yet, but I think he will, based on what we're seeing there. We're in fourth. I think it is going to be ourselves, Mercedes RB, Aston Martin battling away. Oh, chat. Oh, my. Chat, we've got 20 points in one weekend. 20. We're so back. It's like we never left. Oh, gosh. What's this? CFD simulator concerns. I mean, our CFD simulator is already absolutely garbage. If I delay it, that's going to delay these design parts being ready. Oh, do I chance it? I've never chanced it in my life. I'm doing it now. YOLO. Watch it get worse. Right, Suzuka's in 11 days. You know what, chat? To end the stream today, sh should we go see what the weather's saying? Let's go see what the weather in Japan's going to be. Counter Oliver Behrman. I forgot about Oliver Behrman. Look, the whole point in signing you is basically to make money. For all intents and purposes, you are just like a drug mule to me. Not, not that I have any drug mules, just to be clear. Oh, look, you're being a little bastard right now. Look, I'll give you three million. I know three million is a lot of money, but long term, can potentially promote him. I'll be, I'll be back in a month. Chat, this is the longest ongoing saga ever. It's like that match having your dating app that just goes on forever when you have a conversation every month. You may remember we decided not to carry out an in-depth structural repair. Yeah, we did. It was, in fact, a problem that's now worse than significantly. I mean, it's going to cost us. It was going to cost us 80000 It's now going to cost us 320000 That's not that much. 
I mean, I can only hit the approve button now. I can't tell it no, so I guess we're doing that. Is any of this stuff worth improving? Oh, other than, of course, the weather centre. We don't touch the weather centre here. That'd be mental. Actually, the memorabilia room for mentality for drivers and staff is probably quite a good upgrade for a million pounds, isn't it? Do any of the others offer men uh, mentality bo boost? They don't. I feel like I might fully upgrade the, that one. Also, this stuff helps with mentality too. I think this is worth it. I feel like this is worth it. Oh my god. Why? Why? It's a wet race. Well, that will be fun tomorrow.